in their own words, is a series of pen and ink portraits that I've been doing for, I guess, almost a year now. Um, it started because there was a show in competition where all of the artwork involved in the show had to have a literature theme or a literature tie-in. And uh, as I was you know, working through ideas and sort of brainstorming for the show, I thought it would be really cool if the literature actually was the artwork. And so I decided to do a piece of Edgar Allan Poe where I did a portrait of Poe, but I used quotes from his poems, short stories, and you know, just his life in general to create the image. And um, people really liked the concept and thought that the idea was really cool. So I continued to do a series of them, and to this point I've done about 30 of the pen and ink portraits. And um, again, giving credit to my wife where it's due, she thought that they would look really good on t-shirts. So I've actually been making t-shirts out of them too. And to this point I have five designs on t-shirts, and I'm getting ready to release two more. So there'll be a total of seven. As far as my background in art, it's really something that I don't ever remember a time when I wasn't attracted to it and, and basically doing art in one way, shape, or form. Um, my high school, I was really fortunate, offered a ton of art classes. So I took everything from photography and ceramics to painting and drawing and things like that. But people had sort of scared me of the starving artists. And so I was kind of scared to major directly in art and look at art as being my sole vocation. So I steered more towards advertising and in college I took some art classes but I really studied um, graphic design. And instead of going into advertising I ended up going into teaching and eventually now have come full circle back to doing what I, I really wish I had done all along which is um, art as my full time vocation. I would say that I really have always been attracted to work by um, Matisse, Picasso, um, Dolly in the surrealistic aspects, uh, Van Gogh in his color choices and the way you know he had the really bright, vibrant colors, um, and pretty much the minimalist uh, aspects of work. I like to take whatever I'm creating and sort of break it down into basic shapes. And in some cases, I build that up in multiple layers. And in some cases, I leave just the really basic outlines and shapes. But pulling bits and pieces from a lot of artists that, you know, I love their work and their sort of twist on the world and then combining it to sort of come up with my own style.